everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, so this week's video, I'm going to have a look at my most anticipated books and releases for next year, um, which is only like a, uh, a handful of weeks away and that's madness and God, yeah, nearly time for all those fantastic New Year's resolutions, New Year, New Me and all that jazz. Um, anyway, actually as a bit of a res resolution for um, me next year, something I would really like to try and do is A, read more non-fiction. I don't tend to read a great deal of non-fiction, but when I do, I really enjoy it. Um, so I'd like to try and start maybe kind of almost scheduling them in a bit, which sounds a bit formal, but maybe like every third or fourth book that I read, make sure it's non-fiction. Um, because I do, I do really enjoy them when I do read them. And some of my favourite books, um, Mindhunter for sure is one of my favourites, uh, Black Box Thinking is a great book. Yeah. They're non-fiction, but um, yeah, I don't really remember why I ended up reading those, but I did really enjoy them when I did. So yes, I'm going to read more of those. Uh, and I'd also like to read more by kind of different kinds of authors. I do find that I, na I do habitually read the same authors. And I think, I never used to mind that because I used to think, well, you're reading what you enjoy. And really, you shouldn't worry too much about who it was that wrote it, because that's not what matters. What matters is the contents of the book. But actually now I'm kind of of the thinking that I'm not really reading anything of different opinions or different views or different life experiences. So I want to make a real effort to try and read stuff from authors from different parts of the world, um, authors of different sexualities, different genders, different mindsets, different ages, literally everything. I want to just expand my horizons. Um, so yeah, those are my two resolutions. Um, I hope that I can stick to them. I am going to be a bit of a dork and actually plan out what I'm going to read and like purchase throughout the year. So hopefully I can make it that I can't not stick to it. And um, so yeah, so without further ado, um, I've, I've got them written down here or else I will literally forget them. But um, I'm just going to run through my 10 uh, most anticipated books of next year. They're not in any particular order. Don't really think I can put them in any order until I've actually read them. Um, so... The first book that I'm very excited about is um, a Neil Gaiman book, so quite clearly already breaking the resolution by reading Neil Gaiman, but I'm not, not going to read it because he is my favourite author. Um, and also he's he's so creative and so worldly and wise. I think, you know, his opinion is a good one anyway. Um, so essentially what I found out is he is releasing a new compilation. I think it's June that it's scheduled for. Um, it's going to be called The Neil Gaiman Library, Volume 1. Um, and it's basically short stories that he's already written, or graphic, I think it's graphic stories, it's a graphic novel. Um, and his fans and readers voted on the books that are in this volume. So one of my favourites is actually in it, so How to Talk to Girls at Parties, which I think is great. Um, and just anything that he writes, really, I think is great. And I just need to own it. And the cover is stunning. Um, yeah, so that's book number one. The next book that I'm really excited for is an author that I think I only really recently got into. Um, so I think I read her first novel last year. Um, and that is CJ Tudor's new book. So I've got both of her books on the shelf somewhere. Um, the Taking of Annie Thorne, uh, Chalk Men. So cool. Really, really original ideas. I love her way of writing. Um, a bit of a hot take, but... I. Uh, I kind of got directed to her first one because the quote on the front, I think, is by Stephen King and it says something like, oh, you know, like a new author for our era or whatever. I think she's better than Stephen King. Um, though she's only written two novels, so I suppose I can't really give her the consistency award yet. But for me, I think she just, literally her writing just draws me in straight away. And I do enjoy Stephen King, but I find maybe I'll enjoy one of three of the things he releases, but then he releases so much, it's kind of hard to say. So maybe I should answer that in a decade or so once Tudor's got some more out. But Tudor's new book uh, is The Other People. Um, and I think it's, the from what she's released so far, it looks a little bit like a missing persons kind of thing um, about a dad that sees his daughter on the motorway and then spends years like trying to find her. Um, and then some people know what's happened to her. Um, so it's, it's definitely in her ballpark, it's definitely thriller slash horror, like that kind of dark uh, kind of feel to it. So I'm looking forward to that one. Um, and I think that's out at the end of January, the 23rd, I think. Uh, the next one that I'm really looking forward to is something very different. Um, I think this might be 
a debut novel, but don't quote me because I'm not that sure. But it's by an author called um, Abby Dare. I think she lives in the UK. Um, and it is called The Girl with the Louding Voice. And it's basically about a Nigerian woman, or, well, you say woman, I think she's 14, um, trying to escape like an arranged marriage situation. Um, so I really like the sound of that one. I've not really read anything quite like that before. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. The next one on the list um, is The Body Double by Emily Bader. And this sounds really weird. I've, I've never heard of Emily Bader before. I'm pretty sure this is her, her debut, actually. Um, so I might have been wrong on the Abby Dario one, but I think Emily Bader, this is her debut. And this is, it just sounds so weird. Basically, uh, a woman is approached by a really random guy, like on the street or something, um, and asked if she would like a job. Um, and if she would basically be a body double for a Hollywood movie star who's become reclusive. Um, so this woman kind of accepts the job for whatever reason and then ends up body doubling um, and impersonating this Hollywood star. Um, and it all sort of gets a little bit weird from there and that sounds right up my street. So I'm really looking forward to that one. Uh, the next one, I am very excited for this one. This sounds really quite weird. Um, this is called Deep and Darkest Red. Um, by Anna Marie McLemore. That's how you say her surname. Um, basically, I think this is out the middle of next year or March time, maybe. Um, and it's kind of this retelling of an old Hans Christian Andersen story called The Red Shoes. Um, and that is basically, in a nutshell, about women that dance so much that they die. So these red shoes are strapped to someone's feet and then they have to dance. And they can't stop dancing whilst they're wearing the shoes, essentially. Um, so it's kind of a retelling of that, but woven in with like real life events. So apparently there was actually this like dancing plague, which I have heard of before, but I don't really know what it is. So I'd like to look that up. Um, and that sounds just weird enough to be right up my street. So I'm really looking forward to that one. Um, the next one, now I don't really know if this can really sit in this list because it's not been confirmed. So it's a bit of a rumor and it is another Neil Gaiman one, um, but it's rumored that Seven Sisters is coming out next year. So Seven Sisters is the sequel for Neverwhere. Um, Neverwhere is probably my favourite novel of all time. So of, of course I'm very excited for Seven Sisters, but it's not actually been confirmed. But we can but hope. I think if we say it out loud, then it will be released. And if that is released, then I um, will absolutely be reading it. Uh, number seven on the list is the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires, uh, which is again not something that I would normally read. I'm not big into urban fantasy, and vampires, and I guess they're horror, not fantasy, not really sure what they are. Um, but it kind of, I read the blurb of this and it actually sounds a little bit Stepford Wives. Um, so this woman quits her job and marries this really high flying doctor and they move away and she joins this book club. Um, and the book club is her way of sort of regaining control of her life and stuff since she quit her job and she feels like she maybe doesn't have purpose and things. Um, and then this guy joins the book club who's just a little bit too good to be true and it turns out that he's a vampire <laughs> and the only people that can protect the place that she lives from the vampire is the book club. And it sounds really bizarre and I definitely want to read it. It sounds like it could actually be a bit comedic but I didn't really understand that. I didn't get that from the blurb but yeah it could be it could be comedy I don't quite know uh the next one from quite a different area of the scale from the last one um it's called if I had your face by Francis Char um and it is a contemporary literary novel uh set in Seoul um basically about sort of beauty standards and pressures on women in society um it's, yeah, it sounds quite quite high concept and quite, yeah, sounds good. It's definitely different to the others, but it kind of looks more at like beauty standards and wealth and the idea of wealth and, and societal pressures and things in Korea. Um, so that sounds really interesting. And I'm inter excited to read that one. Uh, number nine is called You're Not Listening. Oh, actually, so number nine and number 10 are two non-fiction books because I need to try and read more non-fiction. Um, and two that actually look really, really cool for next year is one called You're Not Listening um, by Kate Murphy. Basically, it sounds a little bit like quiet. I can't remember the author of that, but I'll link it down below. 
Um, but it's all about the power of listening and how like this author Kate Murphy doesn't feel like we listen actively anymore. So it's basically this idea of what what actually happens to your life and what will happen to your conversations when you actively start listening to people and actually listening to what they're saying and sort of seeing the words between what they're saying rather than just taking everything at face value and and really trying to actively listen to things. Um, so I think that sounds really, really interesting. I'm quite interested in the whole introvert, extrovert, ambivert thing. So I'm thinking that would probably sit quite nicely in that. So I'm excited to read that one. And I think that's out middle of next year. Um, and the last book, number 10, not in any order. This is just the last one I found online. The last one I was reading about um, is called Going Dark, The Secret Social Lives of Extremists. And it's by Julia Ebner. And it sounds so cool. It sounds really quite terrifying. Um, essentially, it's about a woman that worked for a think tank looking at... Um, like extremist behaviour and extremists that operated. Uh, I think it's in the UK, but I'm not that sure. Um, and she kind of felt that in this think tank doing her research, she was only getting half the story. So she decided to go home and basically make five kind of fake social media profiles um, and then pose as extremists in these groups and forums to listen, essentially, and to learn. And it sounds really harrowing and quite terrifying but also really, really interesting and not like anything I've ever read before. So I'm really excited for that one. And I think that's being released at the beginning of next year. Well, I can't honestly remember. Uh, so yeah, those are my 10 most anticipated book releases for next year. Um, again, in no particular order. Don't think you can rank something until you've read it. Um, and yeah. I would love to hear in the comments uh, what your most anticipated books are of next year. Um, are there any coming out that you're really, really excited about? Uh, any, I don't, I couldn't find that many like big name authors that are releasing like anything in particular next year. I'm sure there are some, I just couldn't find them. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear what your most anticipated book is of next year. Leave it down in the comments and let's chat about it. Uh, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.